really good. I can see from your smile. <laughs> All right, so now are you ready for the afternoon section? Yes. <laughs> okay, so ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you uh, for the first time that uh, now we open for the afternoon sections of the education credit signing already. So uh, you can uh, sign, you can go to the registrations at the uh, at the break in around um, one hour from now on to uh, register f uh, to sign for the afternoon sections of the education credits. And for this topic, for the first sections that we will share the experience on pharmacogenomics studies in many fields for start from the deep attention to dapsone induced drug hypersensitivity syndrome in Thai population. Very interesting. So the first speaker of this section is assistant, assistant Professor Thad Pong Tem Park, Department of Pediatrics, Faculty of Medicine, Jolongon University, who has a great experience in pediatric dermatology. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Assistant Professor Thad Pong Tem Park. Yeah. Okay, all right. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Okay. I think you should increase the sound. Okay. <clears throat> At the first time, I would like to thank T Cell to invite me to be a speaker here, and also thanks Pro uh, Associate Professor Cholapat Sukhasem, who be my inspiration to work a lot about the pharmacogenomics here, and are uh, initiate me to study in pharmacogenomics in the Dapsone hypersensitivity syndrome. For the topics today, I would like to present like a pharmacogenomic study of Dapsone in new hypersensitivity syndrome in Thai population. For the scope of my talk, about um, I will talk about the background for the case study and previous study in the later later about the Dapsone hypersensitivity and pharmacogenomics, the basic science of the Dapsone, our project summary and take home message. For the background. I will show you the case study of the two years and six months old girl, Cambodian girl. She moved to Tantari province with her family to work here. And uh, for that disease, she got the chronic bullous disease of childhood that ha has been diagnosed by the histopathology. She has been treated with our prednisolone. Unfortunately, her clinical partial improved after treatment. She still have the recurrent of known every two to five days. You have a new lesion all the time. This picture show the chronic bullous disease of childhood. The characteristic of this one is show like a erythematous vesicle, various stage and various sites, and arranged in a typical of uh, a ring like as a, a cluster of jewel, like here, and. Everyone know that the drug of choice of this condition is Dapsone. Before we starting the Dapsone, we also check everything. We ask the history about the drug uh, allergy in the family, not known drug allergy in the past. And we also check the G6PD screening was negative. C6PD activity was negative as well. And for the basic uh, baseline CBC, as you know that for the Dapsone has most common adverse event to have the hemolysis and methemoglobinemia. After that, I started oral Dapsone, the dose only 1.3 milligram per kg per day. After we started Dapsone, everything is fine. Her clinical markedly improved without any lesion anymore. After she take the Dapsone about 27 days, she developed a fever, generalized skin rash, vomiting, and diarrhea. For physical examination at that time, the skin showed like a generalized erythematous plaque wearing sites with ulcer, silam oozing on top at the face, trunk, perineum, palm, and sole. She has our hepatosplenomegaly, 3 cm below right causal margin for the lymph node showing lymphadenopathy, not only for the axillary area, but also the groin area size about one centimeter. This picture showed the kids who uh, has a Cambodian girl, two years and six months old. She's, she has the erythematous plaque on top with the ulcer and serum oozing on the trunk 
on the face and on the extremity. This one show at the perineum area uh, has a low surface a lot here and on the buttock and the extremity as well. For the investigation at the time, for the CBC show like a white blood cell, 48,000, neutrophil 28%, lymphocyte, lymph, lymphocyte 50%, monocyte 10%, and a typical lymphocyte 10%. For the hemoglobin, just only 8.6 gram per DL. Hematocrit, about 27%. Platelet is normal. For the peripheral blood smear, show like hypochromic microcytic polychromatia, nucleated red blood cell. For the liver function test, increase of the AST and ALT, alkali phosphatase, total bilirubin, and dilic bilirubin. For the problem, problem list at the time, like hemolysis, hepatitis, and skin rash, as well as with the drug allergy. What's your diagnosis? I'm pretty sure that everyone knows the diagnosis is drug hypersensitivity from the Dapson hypersensitivity syndrome. For, for the clinical triad show, like a fever, and skin rash, and internal organ involvement, including the hemolysis, lymphadenopathy, hepatitis, and hepatomegaly. She has been admitted in the hospital and treated with any many manipulation, as well as with the systemic corticosteroid, intravenous fluid, blood transfusion, and others. From the clinical practice to research, pharmacogenomics of Dapson hypersensitivity syndrome, how to Basically, you know about the pharmacogenomic that HLB star 1502 for carbamazepine induced Steven Johnson 10 in the Han Chinese population from Professor Shung, Taiwan, but not for the European Japanese population. HLAA star 3101 for the carbamazepine induced Steven Johnson 10 in European population. So, HL is specific with the medication, phenotypes, and hypersensitivity, and also the genotype. How about the Dapson? For the uh, literature show that HLAB star 1301 of, and the Dapson hypersensitivity syndrome has been published in the New England Journal of Medicine 2013, study in the leprosy and Chinese people uh, about eight 172 participants. 39 of, particip uh, 39 of uh, the patients are dark hypersensitivity, controlled about um, 833. The conclusion is HRB star 1301 is risk factor for Dapson hypersensitivities. The odd ratio is about 20. HRB star 1301 has sensitivities about 85% as well as the specificity for um, predict hypersensitivities. And HLB star 1301 has been found in the normal population about 2 to 20% in Chinese, 1 to 12% in Indians. Unfortunately, not for the European and African. Chinese and Thai, this is the same one. What do you think? It is the same one. I suppose it to be the same one because of the uh, previous literature of Professor Shung from Taiwan showed that at HB star 1502 for carbamazepine induced Steven Johnson 10 in Han Chinese population, as well as study of Professor Vijita Tasaniya Kun from Thailand. So how about my patients and my anti population? The basic knowledge and disease of the previous literature. I find out someone to help me prove this hypothesis, and I met him, Associate Professor Sholapat Sukhasen. For my patient, I call him and send the ETA blood 6 mil to find out the specific HLABLU at Laboratory at Lama Tibri Hospital, and absolutely, she, she positive with the HLB star 1301. How about the frequency of HLAB star 1301 in normal Thai population? Is it possible to find out these LU, H, this HLA LUs? This study show from uh, Dr. Apitaya Puangpet has been published in Frontier Genetic 2000, 
uh, 15 about the HLB allele and haplotype diversity among Thai patients identified by PCRs, SSOP, to show that the most common HLB alleles, top 10 in Thai people, showed that HLAB star 1301 has been found above. 7%. So the number of the frequency of HLB star 1301 about 14%. This table show this table show um, the heterogeneous of HLB HLAB star uh, 1301 is like a heterogeneous, not homogeneous. For the HLA space. HLA specific with the drug phenotype of hypersensitivities and also genotype. Is it reasonable to work? It's reasonable to work because this is specific with the dapsone, specific with the severe cuteness adverse reaction, and Chinese or Thai people. So, and also possible to find out the, uh, this allele due to it is one of the top 10 common frequency array in Thai population. For basic science of the dapsone, the dapsone, uh, as you know, that this one is an antibacterial. This is a cell phone group. The metabolites, uh, this medication metabolite in the liver through acetylation and in hydroxylation. For the half life, it's about 12 to 30 hours. 85% excreted in the urine, 10% in the bile. Cytochrome P450 2C9 or CYP 2C9 has also been shown to be the initial step, the formation of toxic metabolite of sulfonamide. This medication distributes to all the body, including the skin and, and erythrocytes. So this is the reason that uh, this medication has been treated with the skin condition and make a hemolysis. These antibiotics and inflammatory agents are well absorbed by the GI tracts. Nowadays, this medication has, be, has been used for many, many conditions, as well as with the leprosy, malaria, actinomycetoma, or the prophylaxis of pneumocystis gyrovechi pneumonia in HIV patients. For the skin condition, as the, the chronic blood disease of childhood or CBDC, Dermatitis hepatiformis, Swiss syndrome, and neutrophic dermatosis conditions. For the epidemiology, it showed that about 0.524% of the patient who, who has been treated with the dapsone have drug hypersensitivities. Usually manifest about four to six weeks after initiation of the medication, as well as our patient after 27 days, about four weeks, has the skin rash. The prevalence of dapsone hypersensitivity is just only 1.4%, but maturity 10%. The common adverse events of the dapsone, as you know that the hemolysis or methemoglobinemia, most patients have hemolysis, but G6PD deficiency are the greater risk of hemolytic anemia. So some experts recommend that you should monitor the CBC weekly for the first months and monthly for eight months. For the idiosyncratic reaction, including the cholestasis, nephrotoxicity, granulocytosis, and motor neuropathy. From the clinical practice to research, how about our study? This study collaborate with the many, many institutes like uh, Tulalongkorn University, Lama Tipri Hospital, Kongan University. Uh, the, the study showed the association of the dapsone induced severe cuteness as well as reaction and HLB star 1301 allele in Thai non-leprosy. For the research question show, to investigate the, in, at the association of HLA genotype with dapsone induced severe cuteness adverse reaction in Thai non leprosy patients. The methodology we have the dapsone induced scar, about nine patients, Dres is six, and Steven Johnson 10 is three. The dapsone tolerant control patient, about 21, and compared with the Thai uh, general population, more than uh, 900. This is the demographic data of our study. Have uh, the patient about nine. 
for the definition of the control groups. The control group like Dapson to the lens control about uh, 21. The patient has been treated more than six months without any hypersensitivity syndrome and the Thai general population. For the result of this study, HLAB star 1301 allele were significant different between the Dapson scar compared with the Dapson to the lens groups a p-value statistic significant, the odd ratio about uh, 33 fold. For the, compared with the general type population, p-value statistic significant, the odd ratio about 22 fold. And when you make sub analysis, you can compare HLB star 1301 was strong associated with the Dapson in you dressed. When you compare with the Dapson to the land groups, the p value is uh, statistically significant. The odd ratio increased to 47.54. And for the general type population, p value is statistically significant. The odd ratio increased to 31.74. This table show. For the conclusion, this is the first identification and association between HLA-B star 1301 and Dapson induced scar in non-leprosy patient in Thailand. For the HLA-B star 1301 allele, could predisposing towards two pharmacogenomic marker for Dapson induced scar in Thai population. So screening for HLA-B star 1301 allele in patients who will be treated with Dapson would be clinically helpful in preventing the risk of the developed scar in the Thai patient. For your take-home message, HLA-B star 1301 is associated with the Dapson-induced scar in Thai population. And before you start the Dapson, you routine check up the G6PD screening activity, routine CBC, and screening HLAB star 1301 may be beneficial for you for preventing scar in Thai population. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Anyone has any question? <coughs> Any question? All right, if you have any question, please feel free to ask them uh, in person. So a big round of applause once again. Thank you very much for your great information. <laughs> Assistant Professor Pong Tempak for the great information about the depth zone induced drug hypersensitivity syndrome in Thai population.